So when you watch the news today or just when you look out in the world, I think it's pretty clear we're not just having normal political arguments, normal disputes. I think in a very real way, we're having a national identity crisis across the country and right here in the Commonwealth. And that's partly because we have a clash of visions going on, and sometimes no vision at all. But while it may seem incoherent to me and to many of you, I do think the left has a vision. I mean, the left has a vision that's one of equality of outcomes over equality of opportunity. A vision that has social norms evolving literally by the day. A vision where politically correct speech will always trump free speech. Where ultimate authority over reality lies in the mind of every each individual. And particularly, I think what defines the vision is that there are never ending dividing lines between us. Whether it's your sex, your skin color, your education level, where you're from, your identifications, your preferences. And folks, that is tearing us apart. The focus on difference and dividing lines is what's tearing us apart. And we conservatives, we complain about this, and we, we do, and we can, and we should. But I got to tell you, you can't defeat a vision with nothing. You can only defeat a bad vision with a counter vision, a better vision. So it's up to us to cast that vision, to paint a better picture. And I think the only thing that has any hope of unifying us is something that centers on what's at the core of being an American, reunifying and refocusing people on ideas like faith, family, freedom, service, hard work, a commitment to principles, endurance, struggle, grit, the things that make us us. And I think above all, a recommitment to the core claim that all are indeed created equal, indeed endowed by a creator with certain unalienable rights. This is what ties us together and this is what can hold us together.